and now life. Great, I'll just see. When people join. Hi, Deepa. How are you doing? I'm Jerry. Um, I don't know if you're joining for the yoga class today. Hi, Bernd. And also apologies to anyone if I get their names wrong and I pronounce them wrong and proving to be not very good at that <laughs> on Instagram Live. Um, for those of you, oh, they're gone. They don't know me. Hi, Marcel. Marcel, I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I'm Jerry. Um, if you're staying for the yoga class today, that's great. Um, and I will just wait for a couple more minutes just to see if anyone else joins. Great. So if you are joining today, um, we're going to start. Hi, Transcendent. <laughs> Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, names wrong. Um, if you're joining for the yoga class today, um, I'm just sort of making sure that you have some sort of like, you can use a rolled up mat or a blanket. Um, hi there, I'm Transcendent Profundity, profundity. lovely to see you, I'm Jerry by the way. Um, so I'm just going to wait for another minute till everyone arrives, but just make sure you've got some sort of form of like rolled up towel mat and you're just going to place it underneath the shoulders um, when we lie down. So I'll just wait one more minute just to see who else joins. Um, that's great. How's everyone doing? I hope you are well. The sun is shining, which makes all the difference. Um, so I will, hopefully, you know, I'll be 45 minutes so you can enjoy the sunshine afterwards for sure. Right, so I reckon let's just get started. Um, very excited to do this, uh, my first Vinyasa flow with Maoli. Um, so today we'll be working into the heart area. Um, so let's just get started and I'll talk through stuff as we go. Um, so we're going to start with your, um, it's either your towel or your mat or whatever you, whatever you have. We're going to come to lying down on the mat, placing that rolled up towel, that rolled up blanket underneath the shoulders. And then you can either use a pillow underneath your head or have your palms there facing upwards. And then there's option for the feet here. You can either have the soles of the feet as wide as the mat and drop them in, or you can have the soles of the feet together and drop them out, so slight hip opener here. Whatever works for you. And as you guys stay lying down, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna to come to seated up so you can hear me a little bit better. But just taking that moment to just settle here Noticing that slight and gentle heart opener. I'm going to take a moment here. We're just going to do three clearing breaths. So taking a really deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out of the mouth. One more deep, deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out of the mouth. One last one, deep inhale through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. For those of you who are joining, we're lying down on our backs on a kind of rolled up blanket or mat just underneath the shoulders. So with the legs nice and long or the soles of the feet on the mat dropping the knees in, soles of the feet together drop the knees out, just in case you've missed the beginning bit. And I'm just staying seated up so you can hear me better. I'm just going to firstly start by just noticing the sounds around you so they don't distract you later. And then coming back to your breath. You want to breathe in and out of your nose. Sending the breath down into your belly. 
about lengthening your inhale and exhale. And just notice how the breath feels in your body as you inhale and exhale. Does it feel quite expanding and lifting as you inhale? As you exhale, does it feel more calming and grounding? So really focusing on sensation here. So I'm going to talk about, so we're working into the heart area and heart opening today. So many of you might already know, but we're working into the heart chakra. Um, chakra being a Sanskrit word for sort of energy channel. And there's seven within our body and the heart is the fourth. So quite often you can kind of get blocked in the energy channels. So being blocked, blocked in the heart area that is recommended for unblocking the heart to just be aware of your emotions, let them happen, and then allowing them to be and then let them go. Another one is to, to unblock the sort of heart blockages, is to allow yourself to remember to love yourself and love other people around you every day. So really sending love and positivity to everyone. And then also we're working through being able to sort of unblock heart blockages is also working through heart opening poses, which is what we'll be doing today. And it's also working into the lungs, the heart area, the arms, the shoulders too. So just focusing on that area today. And as you guys just slowly, we're gonna just slowly start to bring movement into the body. So we're gonna just gently remove the block or mat or whatever you have underneath your shoulders and just bring that away from you. And just allow the shoulders to rest down on the mat and just notice how that feels in your body. Maybe you feel like you have a little bit more space in the front of your body. And then slowly gonna wiggle fingers and wiggle toes. And then gently draw your right knee in towards your chest. If you have the soles of your feet on the mat, keep your left leg really nice and long and you're just gonna gently draw your right knee towards your right armpit. Try to ground down through the shoulders here. So try and keep that space across the shoulder blades, space across the front of your body as well. And you can circle into the ankle, circle into the knee, just moving into the hip a little bit here. And then taking hold of your knee with your left hand, draw your knee over towards the left hand side, bring your right arm out to the right. So you're either cactusing the arm or you're keeping it really nice and long and you're looking over towards your right hand. Think about drawing that right shoulder down onto the mat. So again, keeping space across the front of the body. Gently come back through center and swapping your legs over. So bring that right leg nice and long and draw your left knee in towards your chest clasping your hands over your knee and then circling the ankle, circling into the knee. What I also didn't mention about today's class is that we're also going to be moving a little bit 360 around the mat so it's quite playful too. Taking hold of your knee with your right hand this time, draw your knee over towards the right hand side, bring your left arm out to the left and it's either nice and long or you're cactusing the arms as you look over towards that left arm, left arm hand. And then slowly move back through center. Bring both knees under, in towards your chest and take hold underneath the knees. I'm just gonna rock up and down the mat, drawing the belly button towards your spine. And we're just gonna do this a few times. So starting quite big, making sure you're really rounding in the spine here, drawing the belly in, so firing up the core a little bit. I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. Just massaging your back on the mat. And then crossing the legs over in front of you, Press your hands down. I'm just going to make our way into a tabletop position. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, hip width apart. Make sure you're drawing your belly button towards the spine. So we're starting with a really strong tabletop. And then on an inhale, you're going to lower the belly, lift the tailbone, draw the shoulder blades down the back as you look forward. So softening, opening the heart. Exhaling, chin to chest, doming in your back. Draw your belly button towards your spine, almost as if someone's pushing up into your belly, creating height in your back. Inhaling, lowering the belly, lift the tailbone, draw the shoulder blades down the back as you look forward. Exhaling, 
exhaling chin to chest and you're doming your back, draw your belly button towards your spine. So you're gonna do two more of these in your own breath and time. Really think about moving through every single vertebrae as you move from pose to pose. Notice how that this fires up your core as well. Just the beginning of firing up. Once you've worked through two, come back to a neutral spine. Just make sure your hips are above your knees. And then we're gonna walk our hands forward. So we're coming into, it's called melting heart or puppy dog or anahatasana. So you're melting your heart down onto the mat. And you can go ahead and bring your head onto the mat or you can bring a slight opening into your throat so you can bring your chin down. The further your arms are apart, the less intense it is on the shoulders. The closer they are together, the more intense. Going to be here for a couple of breaths. Just noticing this opening into the front of your body. And then slowly walk your hands all the way back up to that tabletop position. We're going to walk the hands a hand distance in front, draw the belly in, tuck the toes, and then lifting the hips up and back, coming to our first downward dog. So you want to pedal out the feet here. You might have heard a downward dog, it's kind of one of the most, I could say it's the star of the show. So just pedal out the feet here, maybe you want to come onto toe, one toe, the other toe, bending the knee. It's quite a nice one to lengthen out the calves and hamstrings. Another option is to come high onto the toes and roll yourself forward to a high plank and then you can bend the knees and lift the hips back up into your downward facing dog. It's quite a nice little sort of rolling half vinyasa. two more breaths so making any last little movements it could just be staying still and working your heels down or can continuing pedaling out the feet and then when we come to stillness you really want to spread your fingers wide keep a softness in your elbows as you wrap your shoulders towards one another lift your hips high draw the lower belly in and then bend the knees, keep a softness at the back of your knees as you draw the thighs back from the root of your thighs. So your legs are really nice and active here. Your ears are alongside your arms. Take a deep inhale. Open your mouth and side out. Looking between the hands, keep a softness in the knees and you're just going to slowly walk your feet towards the front of the mat. Keep a softness in the knees, and we're just going to slowly rise up to standing, pressing down into the feet, drawing the lower belly in as you come all the way up, moving through the lower back, upper back, middle back, upper back, making sure your head is last. As soon as you come up to standing, draw the shoulders all the way up and round, bring your palms to face forward. I'm just going to close the eyes here, take a moment to as an intention, send someone love and positivity. So we're sending love, opening to the heart, that love and that compassion. Sending someone you're thinking about, the first person that pops up into your head. Sending them love and positivity. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Inhaling, bring your hands to up towards the ceiling, bring your hands to touch at the top. Exhaling, we're folding forward, folding with a lengthened spine, keep a softness in your knees as you come down. Inhaling, hands onto your shins, lengthen your spine, we're coming to a halfway lift. Exhaling, we're bringing the hands down on the mat and you're stepping yourselves back to a plank position. So make sure you're not doming too much and you're not collapsing, but you're somewhere in between and you're really firing up the legs, firing up the glutes. Dropping the knees, relax the feet, draw the belly in as you come all the way down to the mat. And you're going to bring your hands a little bit wider than that, so your elbows come on top of your um, wrists, and then you're pointing your elbows upwards, and on your next inhale, you're going to draw the shoulders up, lift the chest, and then exhale, we're coming down. Inhaling, we're going to do that two more times, lifting up, draw the shoulder blades down the back, open the chest, looking towards the top of your mat. Exhaling, coming down. Inhaling, last time, lifting up, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Exhaling, coming down. Hands underneath your shoulders, and then we're gonna come into a cobra, so draw the shoulder blades down the back, same position, lifting the chest, keeping your chin slightly tucked in. 
Exhaling, coming down, draw the belly in as we come up through that tabletop position. Hips back towards your heels, tucking the toes and then lifting the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, really press the ground away here. Lift the hips high, draw the elbows towards one another. Keeping that softness in the back of your knees. And then looking between the hands, bending the knees, you can jump, step or walk your feet towards the front of the mat. Hands onto the shins or hands onto the mat. Lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhaling, we're folding all the way down. Inhaling, press into the feet as we rise all the way up, bring your hands to touch the top. So we're gonna do two more of these, sun salutations. Exhaling, we're folding forward, folding from the hips, drawing the belly in. Inhaling, hands onto the shins, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhaling, hands are down on the mat, and you're stepping yourselves back to a plank position. And then making sure you're really strong here, going to drop the knees, relax the feet, draw the belly in as we come all the way down to the mat. And then lifting the shoulders, lift the chest, squeeze the bum, coming to cobra. Exhaling, coming back down to the mat, draw the belly in as you lift the hips back towards your heels. And then tucking the toes, lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog, really pressing the ground away here with the hands, wrapping the shoulders, lifting the hips high. Remembering to breathe. Looking between the hands, keep a softness in the knees, jump, step and walk your feet towards the front of the mat. Hands onto the shins, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhaling, we're falling down. Inhaling, press into the feet, bring your hands to touch the top. Exhaling, we're folding all the way down, last time. Inhaling, hands onto the shin or onto the mat as you lengthen your spine, coming to a halfway lift. Exhaling, hands down on the mat and you're stepping yourselves back to a plank position. So you have the option here to drop the knees like we just did, or you can come through low planks. So you're rocking slightly over your shoulders, hover no lower than your elbows, come onto the top of your feet, lift your chest to upward facing dog, really puff up your chest, create a space across the back of your body, and then pushing back into your hands, lifting your hips, downward facing dog. So there's two options in vinyasa. We can work through either of those throughout the class, or skip it out if you're not feeling like it, and that's totally cool. And then on your next inhale, you're going to press down through the left foot as you lift the right heel up towards the ceiling. Okay, coming to split dog, make sure your little toes are facing downwards and you're really reaching through the back of your thigh. Really try and ground down through that left foot a little bit more, draw the belly in. And then you're going to draw your knee towards your left elbow, right elbow, and then we're lifting all the way back up. One more time, draw the knee towards your left elbow, right elbow, and then lifting all the way back up. Draw the knee towards the nose and then try and slip your foot in between your hands, adjusting it if you need to. Toe heel your feet, foot out towards the right. Bring both hands onto the inside of your right foot. Drop that back knee down, relax your foot. So we're actually, instead of coming to lizard, we're actually going to come onto our fingertips here. On an inhale, going to really puff up the chest. Really think about drawing the shoulder blades down the back. So opening the chest here. As you exhale, you're gonna lengthen the front leg and then you're rounding in the back and you're maybe lifting the toes of the foot as you come onto the heel of your right foot. And then inhaling, we're lifting up, opening the chest, rippling through the spine, exhaling, we're rounding. Inhaling, lifting, opening the chest. Exhaling, rounding. And then inhaling, holding this once more, lifting the chest. And then you're going to bring your hands either side, so you're just really near your right foot. You're going to turn your toes out towards the left-hand corner of your mat. Come onto the heel of your right, of your left foot, so we're in a side lunge. You can either bring your hands onto the, onto the mat or your hands are in prayer. Just make sure you're not rounding down here, but really opening the chest. And then we're just going to move really slowly, keeping the hips really low as we come to the back of the mat doing the same. Left toes out to the right-hand corner and you're coming onto the heel of your back foot. Your toe, your heel might be off the mat and that's totally fine. Hands in prayer or hands down on the mat. Nice work. Bring your hands either side of your front foot. So we're coming to the back of our mat. Both toes are facing forward. You're on your back toes as you lift up to a high lunge to the back of the mat. Left hip back, right hip forward. You can keep a softness into the back of the knee so you're not arching in the lower back. Draw the lower belly in. On your next inhale, you're going to draw the elbows down. So you're going to come into a cactus with your arms as you open the top of your back, open the chest. Exhaling, we're coming forward. 
Inhaling, we're lifting up. Draw the lower belly in, support the lower back. Exhaling, we're coming forward. Inhaling, we're lifting up. Exhaling, we're coming forward. And then inhaling, lifting up for the last time. Then lift the arms back up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Step yourselves back to a plank position. And then we're working you through a vinyasa to the back of our mat. Either dropping the knees or coming through low plank. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in, draw the shoulders back, lift the chest. Breathing out, making your way back to downward facing dog. Really press the ground away here. And then we're coming back, still keeping on the right hand side. So lifting that right foot all the way up, really grounding down through the left foot. Draw your knee towards your left elbow, right elbow, and then lifting all the way back up. Draw your knee towards your nose, try and step your foot in between your hands, adjusting it if you need to. Squeeze the thighs together as you rise up to a high lunge. Drop your back heel down, opening out. We're coming to warrior two. Front foot facing forward, back foot facing slightly in, and your body is over your hips. Arms are really nice and open wide. Shoulders away from the ears. Remember to breathe. On your next inhale, you're going to flip the palm, reach as far forward as you can, and then stretch your arm up and over for reverse warrior. Exhaling, we're coming back to warrior two. Inhaling, flipping the palm, reaching up. Exhaling, coming back to warrior two. Inhaling, lifting up and back. Last time, we're gonna stay here. Then straighten the front leg. Turn your right toes, they're facing inwards. And then you're reaching towards the back of the mat, to, towards your left foot. Bring your hand down to the mat. Turn your left toes, they're facing forward. Bend into the front knee. And then come onto your back toes as you lift your left arm all the way up and we're coming into a twisted lunge pose. Lifting through the fingertips, draw the belly in. Really think about opening the chest towards the sky. So then we're gonna come into a side plank. As we come onto the outer edge of your back foot, you can walk your foot halfway or bring that foot on top, maybe lifting the leg if that's available for you. Either staying here, really pushing into the hand, drawing the hips up, so you're almost like rainbowing the hips going to bring that or oh, you can bring that top leg so bend the knee bring it behind you we're going to come into wild thing so straightening that right leg lift that left arm up and over you're coming onto the toes of your foot or the heel of your foot and you're really trying to open your chest here as you lift that arm up and over remember to breathe and then slowly making your way back through side plank back through plank and then working through vinyasa here either dropping the knees all coming through low plank, breathe out as you come down here. Breathe in, draw the shoulders back, lift the chest. Breathing out, making your way back to downward facing dog. Really nice work, everyone. Just gonna come to the left side. So grounding down through that right foot, lift your left leg really nice and high. Make sure the toes aren't facing outwards, they're facing downwards. Really see if you can lift a little bit higher through the back of your thigh. Draw the belly in. Then bring your knee towards your right elbow, left elbow, and then lifting all the way back up. Draw your knee towards your right elbow, left elbow, and then lifting all the way back up. Draw the knee towards the nose and try and step your foot in between your hands. Then toe heeling your feet to the left hand side, bring both hands off the inside of your foot, dropping that back knee down, relax your foot, and coming onto your fingertips here. Really think about bringing the shoulders away from the ears as you open the chest. So try to create space across the front of our body. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lengthen into the front leg and round into the back and maybe pick up the toes, if that feels all right for you. So you're on the heel of the left foot. Inhaling, opening the chest, rippling through the spine. Exhaling, we're coming and we're rounding through the spine. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, rounding. Inhaling, lifting one last time, drawing the shoulders base down the back, opening the chest, and then turning your toes, they're facing the right hand corner of your mat. Bring both hands onto the inside of your foot, come onto the heel of your back foot, and then we're coming into a side lunge. So keeping your hands in prayer or hands down on the mat. And if your heel might be down, might be off the mat with your left foot, that's totally cool. Don't worry. And then you're just going to keep the hips really low as you come to the other side. Bring your hands either side. On the, on the floor of that right foot, or your hands are in prayer. Bring your hands either side of your front foot, kind of turning to the back of your mat, and then we're squeezing the thighs together as you rise up to that high lunge position. Left hip back, right hip forward, 
So right hip back, left hip forward, lifting out of the arms, draw the belly in, keep the softness in the back of your knee as you reach up. On your next inhale, you're going to draw the elbows down, like cactusing the arms as you open the chest. Exhaling, we're coming forward. Inhaling, we're lifting up. Exhaling, we're coming forward. Inhaling, we're lifting up. Exhaling, coming forward. And then inhaling last time, lifting up, really squeeze the thighs together if you're feeling a little bit unstable. And then lifting the arms all the way up. Bring your hands down towards the mat. Step yourself back to a plank position and then work through a vinyasa here. Either dropping the knees or you're coming through low plank. Draw the shoulder blades back, lift the chest. Upward facing dog or cobra. Breathing out, make your way back to downward facing dog. Remembering to breathe here. Lifting that left leg all the way up, really grounding down through the right foot. Draw your knee towards your right elbow, left elbow, and then lifting all the way back up. Draw the knee towards the nose and then try and step your foot in between your hands, rising up to that high lunge position. Drop your back heel down, opening out warrior two. Front foot facing forward, back foot facing in. That front knee is bent and your arms are really nice and open wide. You're looking over that front middle finger. On your next inhale, flip the front palm, reach as far forward as you can, and then stretch your arm up and over. Exhaling, coming back to warrior two, legs stay the same, inhaling, lifting up and back. Exhaling, coming back to warrior two, inhaling, lifting up and back, and we're staying here this time, so we reach up and back, keeping the legs the same, knees working towards your little toe, grounding down through the feet. Then you're gonna straighten through the front leg, Turn your left toes, they're facing inwards. Reach down towards your front foot as you place your hand down on the mat. Right foot facing forward, you're on your back toes and then you're lifting your right arm all the way up as you ground down through your left hand, coming into that twisted lunge. Pressing down into your left hand, come onto the outer edge of your back foot. You can walk your foot halfway or bring that right foot on top and you're rainbowing the hips, really pressing down, maybe lifting that top leg. And then you're going to bend the knee of your right, foot, right leg, drop it behind you, you're coming onto the toes of your right foot, lengthening your left leg, lift your right arm up and over. So we're opening the chest, coming to wild thing. It's like my favourite pose. Beautiful. And then making your way back through side plank, back to plank, and then making your way through a vinyasa, either dropping the knees or you're coming through low plank. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in, draw the shoulders back, lift the chest. Breathing out, making your way back to downward facing dog. Really nice work, everyone. Just notice how it feels in downward dog. Notice if you feel a lot warmer, maybe you have more space. I'm gonna take a deep inhale here. Open your mouth and side out. Then we're gonna come onto our knees, grab some water, and I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty hot. <laughs> Grab some water, work your faces down. Bring your knees as wide as the mat. I'm gonna come into a child's pose. Hands out in front of us. I want your knees to be wide, if that feels okay for you, just to give space for your ribs to breathe a little bit. You can either have the hands out in front of you or maybe alongside the body, relaxing your head onto a pillow or maybe down onto the mat. I'm just gonna change the track. So while you guys are in child's pose, I'm just gonna sit up. So just allowing your whole body to surrender onto the mat. If child's pose is not comfortable for you, you can always come to lying down on your back. So just coming back to your breath. Just notice if your breath has changed and you've moved away from that beautiful deep breathing that you started with. Think about breathing into the back of your body as well as the front of your body here. In and out of your nose. And just notice how your mind is, how your body feels. So what also is great with heart opening is that we it gives 
basically sort of stretching into the sternum and the ribs area, the front ribs, to be able to breathe a little bit better. And it allows for more oxygen to be able to flow around the body, so it just revives, it re revives you, revives and revitalizes the body by getting more oxygen around the body too. So heart openers are really great for energizing and invigorating. So just noticing if you feel a little bit more energized, maybe feel tired, that's totally cool. So then we're slowly going to start bringing movement back into the body. Maybe swaying your hips from side to side, tapping your fingers on the mat, rolling your head. And then just slowly, just going to rise up through a tabletop position and make your way into a downward facing dog, but don't rush anything. You can make a few cat cows on the way perhaps. Just take your time, obviously within reason, don't take five hours. <laughs> but if you have the time, maybe you can. And then making your way slowly into a downward facing dog, bending out the feet here. And just notice how this feels, how it feels from when you started. Again, downward dog is really challenging, so you may still be working into this, like wrapping the shoulders, lifting the hips high, drawing the belly in. It's a working pose. Then you're going to lift the right leg all the way up, draw your knee towards your nose, stepping your foot in between your hands, adjusting it if you need to, rising up to that high lunge position. Bring your hands into prayer, find something in front of you that's not moving, and we're coming into warrior three. So pushing off that back, back foot as you shift weight into your right foot and we're coming into that T-shaped position. So little toes facing downwards and you're kicking out the back of your heel and pushing through the top of your head. Bringing your hands out in front of you or alongside your body. Remembering to breathe, drawing the belly in and just think about drawing the shoulders up a little bit. So there's a slight arch in the upper part of your back. Then you're just going to shift weight into your right foot, still keeping on the right foot, and bring your left knee in towards your chest, so keeping that foot off the mat if you can. Clasping your hands over the knee, and then you're going to bring that left knee to meet your right, dropping it down. Take hold of your foot, big toe side, and then you're kicking that foot towards the back of the room as you then lean forward and then bring your right arm out in front of you touching your thumb and first finger together. Make sure your knee isn't going out to the side. If you're really trying to kick up and back and, up and back, don't worry if you're wobbling here. I am too. And really think about squeezing your glute as you kick that foot a little bit higher. Really try and get your chest facing the front of the room. And then slowly releasing that foot. And then we're coming back through that warrior three, but bring your arms out in front of you this time. Draw the belly in and then bring your hands down onto the mat. You can use blocks here if you want to, as you walk your hands back towards that standing leg. But I really want you to think about the chest area here. Are you rounding down? If you're rounding down, come a little bit further forward and think about trying to lead with your chest as you fold over that front leg. Relaxing your head and neck. And then bending into the front knee, step your left foot to the back of the mat, Step yourself back to plank, and you can work through vinyasa here, maybe skip it out, but then meet in downward facing dog. Either dropping the knees or coming through low plank if you're working through your vinyasa. Draw the shoulders back, blades back, lift the chest, cobra up with facing dog, and then lifting all the way back up. Grounding down through the left foot, through the right foot, lift the left foot all the way up. Draw the knee towards the nose as you step your foot in between your hands. Rising up to a high lunge position. Bring your hands into prayer. We're shifting weight into that left foot. As you kick off the back foot, maybe walking it in, and we're coming into that warrior three. So T-shaped position, I'm gonna shuffle myself back so you can see me better. Make sure the little toes are facing downwards. Little slight arch in the upper part of your back. Draw your belly in. Hands out in front of you or alongside the body. Whatever you did on the other side. And then keeping that right leg off the mat, draw your right knee in towards your chest and give it a really nice squeeze. Dropping the right knee beside the left, take hold of your foot, big toe side. Then you're kicking your foot towards the back of the room for dancer's pose, as you lift that left arm out in front of you. And make sure your chest is facing, the fo facing forward and touching thumb and first finger. 
and trying to kick that foot back but not draw the knee out towards the side. And then releasing the foot, as you come back through that warrior three, so kicking your foot to the back of the room, bring your arms out in front of you, and then releasing the hands down as you take hold of your foot with one or both hands. And with those balance poses, if you're wobbling around, that's totally cool. Just try to come back into it, and that's, that's totally fine. So making sure we're really leading with the chest. So come to a halfway lift, and then folding forward, relaxing your head and neck. Maybe taking hold of the ankle with one or both hands, see if you can lift that right leg a little bit higher. And then bending into the front knee, step your right foot to the back of the mat. And then you're stepping yourself back to a plank. Lifting the hips up and back or working through a vinyasa if you want to, if you want a little bit more strengthening. From here, you can walk your hands a little bit closer together and then see if you can do this at the same time. Drop both elbows down onto the mat. If that's not possible, you can do one at a time. And you're walking your feet towards your face. Seeing if you can walk them as far as you can, maybe just staying here. Just going to do a bit of strengthening as well as lengthening. So strengthening the front of the body, drawing the belly in. And maybe you want to lift up one leg. You can lift up another. If you have a pincher here, coming up into that, so lifting, jumping up to both legs above you, whatever is available for you. Remembering to breathe. Just going to be here for a couple more breaths. Drawing the belly in. This may feel really uncomfortable for you, and that's totally cool. And then we're just coming down onto the knees. We're going to come into a child's pose. So hands out in front of you. Let your head and neck relax. So dolphin, the pose we just did, is a really challenging pose. So don't worry if it feels really uncomfortable. It will get easier the more you do it. And we're just going to slowly rise up. So our hips are above our knees. We'll come back into that heart opening pose. So bring your hands down as the mat, it's called Anahatasana, melting heart or puppy dog. And you're walking your hands out in front of you, melting your chest down, either coming onto your chin or onto your forehead or maybe pillow down on the mat. And just notice if it feels slightly different from when you started. Maybe you have a little bit more space in the front of your body. Gonna be here for two more breaths, allowing a bit of surrender into the upper body. And then slowly we're gonna come forward. So we're gonna come onto our forearms, snaking your belly forward. We're gonna come into Sphinx pose. So elbows underneath your shoulders, hands at the same distance as your elbows. Just make sure you're not rounding down, you're drawing the shoulders away from the ears, squeezing the bum, pressing into the tops of your feet, drawing the belly slightly in and you're looking forward. Remembering to breathe. And then we're slowly coming down, coming onto one ear, and just shake your hips from side to side, just releasing the lower back. And then we're gonna bring the hands alongside the body. Palms are facing downwards. Come onto your forehead. Press down into the palms. As you lift the shoulders, lift the chest. And then you're lifting the hands and arms away. Lifting the feet, lifting the legs. Coming to locust, keeping your chin slightly tucked in so you're not whipping out the head, whipping back the head. Really see if you can lift a little bit higher. And then we're coming down. Coming down onto the other ear, shaking your hips from side to side. And just notice how it feels coming out of poses like that. It can feel really like sort of a juicy, delicious release. And then you can either come into poses, either of the poses we just did, so Sphinx on our elbows or Locust. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can bend into the knees, take hold of your feet, little toe side. Then you're going to kick your feet to the back of the room so your shoulders and your chest should lift. Make sure your legs aren't coming out to the side, that they're drawing towards one another. And keeping the chin slightly tucked in, so you're not whipping the head back again. And really see if you can lift a little bit higher. You can flex the feet, point the toes, whatever works for you. Reach a little bit higher, and then releasing down. Coming onto the other ear, and then shaking the hips from side to side. Releasing the lower back, noticing how it feels here. Notice how it feels in the heart area too. 
Bring your hands either side of your shoulder, underneath your shoulders, and then you're pushing yourselves up through a tabletop position. Crossing your legs behind you, which can keep an eye on the time, there we're good. Cross your legs behind you and sit your bum down on the mat. Then we're gonna lengthen the legs out in front of us. Just gonna come into a forward fold. So if you find forward folding quite difficult, you can always sit on a pillow or a block, just to raise your hips a little bit, keeping your legs a little bit further apart than together, and bending the knees slightly. Otherwise, if you can, lengthening the legs, keep your hands either side of your hips. Sit really tall, draw the lower belly in, flex the feet, and then lifting out of the arms, we're folding forward, so we're lengthening down the back of our body, drawing the belly in, try and lead with the chest here, either bringing the hands onto the calves, thighs, inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, we're folding. Inhale, lengthen, exhaling, we're folding. Nice work, and then slowly rising all the way back up. And then we're just gonna slowly make our way down onto the mat. So bending the knees, bringing the feet on the mat, still the feet on the mat. And you're just gonna come down, all the way down, but rounding down through the lower back, middle back, upper back. See if you can keep your feet on the mat. It's a little test. Use your core, draw the belly in, so your ribs are moving towards your hips. As you come all the way down, really think about rounding as much as you can. As soon as you're down, bringing the feet close enough to your bum that you can brush your fingertips on your heels. You want your feet to be hip width apart, grounding through the feet, just going to slowly rise all the way up towards a bridge pose. So really pushing up into the hips, squeezing the glutes. And then if you want to take this further, you can roll onto the tops of your shoulders, clasp your hands underneath your bum and press them down on the mat. As we're quite open, you can also come into wheel here. We're just doing one very, one lot of bridge wheel variations. So bring your hands either side if you're coming to wheel, either side of your ears, pressing down into the palms. You're pressing into your hands, coming into the top of your head first, and then lifting and lengthening the arms so you push your chest towards the back of the room. Grounding down through the big toe side of your feet. Make sure your feet aren't facing outwards. They're staying as they were when they started. Reserving enough energy to come down onto the back of your head, rolling down. As if you're in bridge as well, releasing your hands, rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring your feet as wide as the mat, drop your knees in. Bring one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest. Chuck your chin slightly in and just close your eyes. Just notice your heartbeat. Connect back to your breath. And then we're going to bring your feet up towards the ceiling. So we're going to come into an inversion and it's just a really chilled one today. So if you do want to do headstand, shoulder stand, handstand, please be my guest. Use a wall. But for, for those of you coming with me, you're just going to lift your feet up towards the ceiling. This is just as beneficial as any other inversion, handstand, headstand as you're allowing the oxygenated blood to come to your head, which really calms the body down. Bring your hands alongside your body so palms are facing upwards, and you're really kicking your heels up towards the ceiling. You may have the softness in your knees if you can't, got quite tight hamstrings, that's totally cool. Closing the eyes. We're just gonna be here for three breaths. Allowing the body to calm down. Doing that beautiful deep breathing. And then slowly we're gonna make our way into our final relaxation pose, Shavasana. It's like my favorite thing in the whole class. Bring your feet as wide as the mat. You can have your hands resting on your body alongside you. If they are alongside you, palms are facing up, giving space for the shoulders. Keep your chin slightly tucked in and you have the option if you've got any sort of twinging in your lower back Bring the soles of your feet on the mat and drop your knees in you can tuck your pelvis under just make sure your lower back is nice and supported And then I'm gonna so you guys lie down here. I'm gonna sit up so you can hear me a little bit better I'm Just gonna take some time here Take a really deep inhale through the nose 
Open your mouth and sigh it out. Coming to a normal breath. I just want you to notice and be aware of how you're feeling mentally, physically. Letting any emotion that comes up just be. Don't bring any judgment. Focus to your heart center. Just notice if you can feel your heartbeat. And then just notice the warmth and imagine that area as a color. And then I want you to spread that color, that warm color throughout your body. Starting with the crown of your head all the way down towards your toes and then all the way back up again. recommend staying in Shavasana a little bit longer, maybe placing a really nice song on, just giving yourself a little bit of self-love like we spoke about earlier, self-love, giving people love, so important. If you are ready to move and you're coming with me, just slowly start to bring movement into the fingers, into the toes, circling into the wrists, circling into the ankles. Bringing the arms over your head, give yourselves a full body stretch. Gently draw your knees in towards your chest, give them a really nice hug. And maybe you're rocking from side to side here, keeping the eyes closed if you can. And then gently coming over towards your left or your right, whichever feels good for you, using your arm as a pillow. And then just slowly pushing yourselves up to a seated position, facing the front. You're going to place one, your right hand on top of your heart, and then your left hand on top, keeping the eyes closed here. You're going to take a deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> do two more of those, deep inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth, one last time, deep inhale, and then exhale out of the mouth, taking a moment to just Remember that intention and that person that you were sending love to at the beginning. And then you're going to lift your arms all the way up towards the ceiling, bring them to touch at the top. And then as you exhale, bringing the hands into the centre of your chest, pressing your thumbs into your sternum. And then just gently bowing yourselves down. Slowly, slowly opening the eyes. I want to say thank you so much for joining Namaste, everyone who joins. Um, and I hope that you have a lovely day and then hopefully you will feel more loving and compassionate to everyone around you. Maybe not, and that's totally cool, but that is hopefully the aim of these heart-opening poses. So if you do have any questions, do let me know. 
I'm going to be here for the next minute or so. Uh, this was exhausting, but good, thank you. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad and hopefully you're feeling slightly energised <laughs> as well for the day. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. I'll just see if anyone else has any questions, please do let me know. For those of you who missed the beginning, I am, I'm Jerry, um, and thanks for joining today. I'll just check to see, I think. Any other questions? I think we are good. Well, just let me know. Thanks for everyone who joined. I hope you're feeling nice and open in the heart area. Um, do, yes, do let, do message if you have any questions that come up later on. Um, message Maoli or me. Um, and I ho hope you have a lovely day. Thank you. It was great. Thank you so much. Best Sunday dress. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, take care, everyone. And have a lovely day in the sunshine.